Namaste conscious creators. Well, I hope you all are having a great time and a beautiful day. And uh, we have someone very special this evening. So I'm waiting for her to join in. And in the meantime, I want to say that I hope you've got my copy. I am a conscious creator. Dream, believe, act, receive. It's got a 4.5 star rating on Amazon.in. And you read the book, imbibe the practices and break the shackles and fly away. So get my copy on um, on Amazon. Hi! Hi! <laughs> <laughs> Namaste, conscious creator. <laughs> I hope I'm, I'm a little bit, hmm. Okay, I'll stand here. That's better. Perfect. <laughs> well, so, yeah. You. So, please tell everybody about your name and what you do and everything and your journey. Thank you. Welcome to Southwest London. Hi, India. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's warmer here today. We don't have so much snow. And yeah, it's nice here in London now. Right. So everybody wants to know your journey as such and what you do and your name and, you know, just to understand where you are right now in your life. Okay. So my name's Laura, Laura Bridge, and I'm an Ayurvedic adventuress. I discovered Ayurveda through going to a retreat in Sri Lanka. And I chose to go there because I was feeling really sluggish and overweight. I'd been working as a private chef. And I knew how to create really tasty, lovely, beautifully presented food, but I didn't know how to nourish myself. That just never came into it. And so the breakfast times there, I'd be munching on the croissants about 11.30, and that was my breakfast, and probably a liter of coffee. And, well, clearly not a good idea, because coffee, as you know, sends you straight into fight or flight mode. You know, it makes your body lighter, so you can run away from the saber-toothed tigers. Uh, it makes you see better, and it really affects your nervous system. And so, now one tip, I put cardamom, cardamom pod in my coffee and that helps the acidity. So my lunch, I was eating like a zombie as my dinner. I was online, I was looking at recipes, I was running across the road to go shopping with an apple. I mean, this is hopeless. So <laughs> I went to Sri Lanka, I went to, the, uh, to just to detox, lose weight, but I didn't really know what Ayurveda was all about. And I guess it, it, people who don't know think it's something maybe religious, something vegan, vegetarian, when it's not at all. It's a, about a holistic approach, balancing mind, body, spirits, and keeping ourselves in balance and with the different seasons, different weather, how we're feeling internally inside our body. And then just bringing that to balance. And so I couldn't believe in Sri Lanka how these very gentle massage, reading, slowing a pace of life down, sitting down to eat, consciously looking at my plate, not having the media interfering with my head, chewing and biting the food and properly chewing and putting my cutlery down in between each mouthful. I mean, it made so much difference. I just, I lost loads of kilos. And ultimately I just found a happiness that I, I just, I couldn't believe how I was sustaining that. And I just knew that I had to take my chefing experience and add all the wisdom of Ayurveda, and <laughs> this is how wow. this is how it all happened. And I mean, it was, wow. it was even a longer journey than that because before I I was working for five years in Moscow. I was a celebrity chef there. 
I was doing all the things that society says should make you a success. Bullshit. <laughs> I mean, I had the great apartment. I had the incredible salary. I had all the trappings and, you know, all the media coverage, but something wasn't feeling right. And even though I made my clients happy because of the food I was creating, something wasn't quite right. And now that I understand how to add the nourishment to it, oh, it's, just, it's beautiful, it's wonderful. <laughs> wow, amazing. So are we going to be cooking something today? Are you going to be sharing some recipes of yours or something to make well, it more... Um... Actually, yes. <laughs> I, I, I prepared um, some buckwheat, some buckwheat which I'm going to stir fry with some mushrooms and things. Because I've looked wow. online and I can see that you can get buckwheat in India and you have mushrooms and onions and garlic, so that's no problem. I'm not yes. quite sure about broad beans. I know we do get this. Okay. We do. So, yeah. So yeah. otherwise you can just substitute for peas. Sure. So I'm penning down your recipe also. <laughs> and I will send you, I'll send you afterwards the recipe that sure. I'm going to do. Sure. And so, let's see this. <laughs> so I'm just going to, I'm just going to move you around here a second. Okay. Thank you so much for joining in. And we're going to be having a very experiential one with uh, Laura. And she's going to tell us some of the very nice recipes for breakfast. So let's have a look at what we have today and what okay. yummy breakfast Laura is making for us. <laughs> I, I really hope that house. doesn't fall, fall crashing down. But in any case, uh, we'll, we'll give it a go. I just thought if I do it this way, it's a little bit easier. Hello! It's perfect. <laughs> yes, it's <laughs> and so the joy about buckwheat... I'm using this raw buckwheat. And there are okay. so, so many different ways that you see how to cook it. Some people say cook it for half an hour. For me, that turns into a thick glue. And others, eight minutes. But well, I found out that 10 minutes boiled, drained, and it will literally double in weight. Wow. <laughs> and so you have these lovely green, soft. So... The thing about buckwheat, it's cheap, nutritious, it's gluten-free, it contains all the nine essential amino acids that we need for our bodybuilding, and it's strengthening, and it's got loads of fiber, which is good for colon health, um, and it helps relieve constipation. So I've got my frying pan here, and I'm going to add some ghee, which I'm sure you all know is clarified butter. I make it at home yes. myself because I, I find the bought one is rancid and it just is just not so good. So I love the smell of just homemade delicious ghee that's almost a bit caramelizing. So the other things about buckwheat is it's good for your heart and the, um, it lowers your blood pressure and reduces sugar levels. So that's good for people who have diabetes. And according to Ayurveda, buckwheat is drying and it's heating due to its earth element. And it also has a diuretic, diuretic quality, which means that- Laura, can you increase the volume of your thing? I hope it's audible to everybody because I think the volume is not a little high. Really? Okay. Or maybe I got a call on my cell. That's why the volume went down. Uh -huh. Hi, Zargam. Uh, no, I'm not busy. Enjoy this recipe, what we're making right now. It's very easy for breakfast. So, um, so Laura, could you be a little more audible? Uh, I think the volume is kind of gone. I think the viewers can't hear this. Uh, I would request everyone to join in again. So Laura, let me call you back again. Let me let me get I've back again on the Instagram live with you. I, I've turned it up louder. How's that? Is that yeah, because I think the volume is really going down and I can't hear you. Oh, okay. 
I've turned it up. So let me, yeah, uh, volume is good, he's writing. Okay, fine, because I don't know why on my side I can't hear you. Okay. Laura, let me get back again in a minute on the live and then we'll all have all of you together once again. Okay. Please, I'm so sorry. Okay. I'll just call you back. Sure. Just give me one second. Yeah, I'm for now. Laura, are you there? Yeah, hi. I don't know what happened. Oh, perfect, perfect, <laughs> super, brilliant. <laughs> brilliant, we're <Okay>. back together. <laughs> Great, yes. So, <laughs> Thank so you. In here, perfect. I've got onion, garlic, and celery. Okay. Great. And I'm going to... And I'm going to start frying them all together like that. Great. And so I was saying that um, because um, in Ayurveda it sees this um, buckwheat is slightly drying, um, adding ghee will help um, the digestion of it. Um, but it's also anyone who has um, inflammation does be slightly um, heated in moderation because it is slightly heating. Um, and so I also have some really lovely, I made this earlier. It's um, a mixture of cumin and fennel and some, it's all to, to help the batter. So fennel, cumin, coriander, turmeric, king and ginger asphodida yeah i'm sure you know right but I these all and i'm just going to put this pan on another heat and go at the same time I'm going to volume is again up. gone i don't know for what reason the volume is gone again oh really just one second right yeah. Okay. So we're putting the ghee on the frying pan and then? And then um, I, I make sure that my pan is super hot and then I'm going to fry the mushrooms. Right. The mushrooms. This is, I have to admit, this is more of a camping, <laughs> a camping type hob, but it's easier for me to set my camera up this way. So... I also like to add my salt and pepper at the beginning and cooking the salt will remove its heat. The other thing about buckwheat is that it has um, these, uh, it has an anti-nutrient in it called um, phytic acid, which will prevent you absorbing all of the wonderful nutrients such as manganese, which is a good antioxidant and copper for bones and immunity magnesium that supports hundreds of body chemical reactions and zinc that also helps the immune system. And as you know, we all need help with our immune system right now. And so um, I first came across this um, buckwheat or in Russia, it's called kasha, which is when it's toasted and then it really cooks super quickly. I'm sorry, you can't really see. No, it's amazing. It's really nice. And uh, I'm sure all our viewers are like penning it down and uh, they're getting the recipe with them and they're going to be making it in their home. So, yeah. I will write the recipe down. So, it's basically the ghee and then salt and pepper, cooked buckwheat, which, as I mentioned, I cooked the buckwheat. Um, you know what? I'm just going to, I'm just going to take it over to my much hotter flame over here because yeah. I, I won't be able to get my mushrooms cooking quite in the way that yeah quite in the way that quite in the way that I want <laughs> so I, I like to cook the mushrooms so they go a nice caramelized um, brown color and then I will mix them in with the onions and the garlic and the celery wow so, <laughs> so if you really wanted to pimp your salad your side dish you could also add some really delicious truffle oil i'm quite spoiled because i really like the real thing which is quite expensive and i'm really sensitive to smell so 
and well of taste of course so if you buy the fake stuff it just it, it's not quite the same thing but in any case if you're lucky enough to have do you get truffles in india you know laura i don't know why you, your volume is not coming through to me i don't know for what reason are uh, you not being very and um, the volume was okay earlier again it's gone on my side i don't know really? what's happening i have it on full so pass. let me just put this on pause for a second okay uh I have it on full blast so yeah i don't know what is happening can you just say hi again once please i have it on as high as possible and just give me one yeah the volume is back now okay <laughs> so i have to put that on pause okay pause yes right so there's someone so, asking how do you get buckwheat in india So Sahed, I'm not very sure. You'll have to find out near a grocery. You know, ask somebody close to your house. In, one of the grocery well, in, shops. It, in India, I looked it up. It's called kutu atta. You make the flour to yes, make yes, the alu and yes. parappas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kutu atta. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, perfect. So Sahed, you could get a kutu atta, and um, yeah, <laughs> right. So for that reason, I just presume that you'd be able to get it easily in India. Um, Absolutely, yes. But but you do have to take care of the cooking time. So if your buckwheat is not this colour, which is a a kind of a uh, sorry, I'm not quite sure the best way to, sh to show you. It's like a greeny colour. This right, is the one yes. that you boil for ten minutes, but If it's the toasted one, then that literally you you literally you cover it in boiling water and put a lid on it, and then it, and it will get ready really quickly. But otherwise, you'll end up with glue, which is not tasty at all. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> and, and, yeah. And it, it has a really beautiful earthy taste to it. Which is which I find satisfying, grounding, and calming, and especially in these sort of tumultuous times. So you can see my lovely mushrooms here. Wow, I love mushrooms. <laughs> so do I. I'm sure you guys love mushrooms. <laughs> I mean, in in Ayurvedic terms, they're they're seen as a little bit tamas, um, not sattvic, not not. Um, Oh, just life vitality because they're they're sort of they're, they're fungus, but you know everything in moderation. You know we don't yes. eat mushrooms every day. It's just all about balance, little by little. That's right. Yes. Yeah. So, so it's very yummy. <laughs> and so here. Oh, wow! Yummy. I hope you can see that properly. Can you see the mushrooms? I would love to see them right now. <laughs> so, wow! Yeah, so here are amazing. The and as as if by magic, here is the the celery that I was cooking earlier with the mushrooms, and I'm going to add the one into the other. Okay, it's a It's a, a little bit difficult for me now because I'm now I'm holding the camera. But in any case, just wait one second. Let me just pour, sure. it all, pour it all in. I'm sorry. I know you're looking at my screen right now, but because of our little, little technical issue, and so now in here I have my mushroom. Yeah, I have my mushrooms and my onion and my celery. You can see that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, and here are the broad beans that I peeled earlier. So broad beans. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Broad beans. They normally come with um, a, a, like a white shell. Of course, that's edible. Mm -hmm. Of course, you can eat that. But I just I love the vibrancy of these green. Beans, like absolutely, even I love them. And so I find that it all balances itself out. So you know, I've got um, a grain, and well, in fact, buckwheat—we call it a grain. It's not actually a grain; it's a seed. 
but it's got it's got such yummy properties to it. So, so now I have in here the buckwheat, the mushrooms, a squeeze of lemon would be delicious as well. Absolutely. <laughs> and so let's bring the lemon also. <laughs> so I. I mentioned before that I made this um, spice blend. Yes. I, to I toasted it all. And, and so I'm just saying that that, is, that could be a suggestion that if, if people were feeling a, needed a little bit more grounding or have digestive issues, that they could use that blend. Um, but I'm going to be indulgent today and I'm going to add my white truffle oil. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> and I have my parsley, chopped parsley here. Nice. So in Ayurveda, we say it's very important to have all six tastes every meal. The sweet, sour, salty, pungent, bitter, and astringent. So even that, though that may sound like an overwhelming amount of different tastes, if you think, well, I'm going to have a little side salad with my food. And in my side salad, I'm going to have my olive oil, lemon juice, salt, pepper, maybe a little bit of honey or sugar. So I've already covered now, you know, the um, it's heating olive oil and black pepper. And then you've got the salty and then the sweet. So you're literally almost done. And so, okay, so now, can you see? Yes, yes. It's, yeah, you can see it. Yes. Yeah, so now I'm going to add in the parsley. It's give all it looking so yummy. <laughs> and and give, it, give it a good stir. And then last minute, I'm going to drizzle the, um, the oil on there. And so there we go. I mean, I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave it in the pan like that. Wow! See? Delicious. And, and I, I would say that that's just a really, really tasty side salad. And I mean, you could also add asparagus to it as well, um, and that works. And more recently, I've been using. I've been totally obsessed with making tasty breakfasts, and so I've been using buckwheat. In fact, this raw buckwheat, I soak it overnight because, as I was mentioning earlier, um, the, the buckwheat, it has um, one enzyme that prohibits the, your absorption of nutrients and another one which will allow you to absorb them. So if you soak the buckwheat overnight with some type of acidic water, lemon juice or vinegar, then it will remove that if you have digestive problems. And luckily, right. I more, more have a digestion of a goat, so I'm, <laughs> I'm really lucky. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing, you know, because it's not just about nurturing your mind, but also nurturing your body with healthy breakfast, what you just showed right now, because it's the body and mind are interconnected. You know, so it's just not, you know, doing your positive affirmations or incantations or meditation. Yeah. It's about feeding your body also because health is wealth it's and true. it depends on how you're nourishing your body because that plays a huge role, you know. And also when, so you're, drinking, also when you're eating your breakfast, it's important to note what you're drinking as well. So you should, Absolutely. You shouldn't be drinking in your hot India weather ice cold drinks which will then kill your digestive fire it will also dilute all your acid in your tummy which you need to digest the food and so you just be right. really careful to not drink too much before or too much after just gently sip right of course so what i also do is when i wake up in the morning i start with having a lot of water because it removes all the toxins from the body and everything. And I'm going to be having your recipe now tomorrow. <laughs> Warm water is ideal. Preferably, yes. Preferably yes. not straight from the tap. And maybe even more ideal from a copper bottle, which I love. I have, I have copper bottles from my friends at Kelsey. 
Um, and I love the taste, and you get you get the uh, addition of the um, uh, mineral, and also it all tastes so good. And it has great immunity. It helps, really helps your immunity as well. And there's another tea that I drink all the time, which is cumin, fennel, and coriander. So could you show us some drink? Can you make something for us in terms of a drink or something that our viewers can have a look at that and they can make it in the house? Uh, okay. Well, what I can show you is this is basically, this is in Ayurveda, this is like one of the most standard incredible teas. So, so here is... Uh, here is cumin seeds. Oh, sorry. Right coriander, here. Coriander seeds. Coriander. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I put a teaspoon of that. Then a teaspoon of cumin seeds. Right. Yes. And then a teaspoon of fennel seeds. Sure. So it's, okay. It's just. It's just one equal equal teaspoons of each one and i put that i put, have that in well i actually use a cafetiere and i just leave it to infuse for about 10 minutes and i sit that throughout the day and it's so amazing for digestion it's wonderful because all of the seeds they have anti-inflammatory anti-gas these wonderful properties that just help your digestion so i that that's what i would thoroughly recommend Cumin, fennel, and coriander seed. I know that those. Do you suggest that people should have this when they wake up in the morning, just when they wake up, or like a little later in the day, or when should they have this, and how often? Well, well it's always best to have just plain water first thing in the morning, and then I would go into that tea. Um, I mean, I have friends in London; they go straight. The first thing they have is a cup of coffee. I mean, that is okay. That is that is literally getting your getting your throwing a stick of dynamite into your body. Yeah, that's right. Yes, yes. Yeah, and I, I don't so, need that. But certainly, right? Of course, I think none of us need it. <laughs> so I think we can start our morning with like a glass, like a couple of glasses of water. Then we have this uh, this thing what you just showed right now. Do your meditation, your affirmations. Then have that healthy breakfast we just showed you right now. And then start your day, you know, because then when you start to be like this, it's much better. I, you know, I do yoga before, before that, oh, wow. before eating, because right, yes, before the breakfast, <laughs> it's impossible to eat. It's impossible to to have anything in the tummy and then do yoga. Yes, same with meditation, right? Because when you do meditation, you have to be empty stomach, and it has to be done like that. Even your affirmations. And I think the best time to do meditation and affirmation is in the theta state, just when you wake up in the morning and just before going to sleep. Yeah. So when you're waking up in the morning, have, you know, two, three glasses of water, have this thing what we just showed you right now, you know, do all your daily practices, have this breakfast, then after the meditation. Yeah. Because see, mind and body has to be nourished. It just can't be that you're nourishing your mind with all the positive uh, vibes and positive things and positivity. And then you're not nourishing your body and you're having junk food. It will not make any sense. It has to be taken care of like the mind. And I hate I even that word, <laughs> junk and food. It's just, because <laughs> it's not food. It's just junk. And yes. it's just, it's exactly. lost its life force. It's lost its prana. And even now, e even now, since I started on this Ayurveda journey, even going into a restaurant, you just... That's why grandma's food tastes so good. Grandma's sandwich or ja grandma's cake or whatever, because you know grandma is infusing the food with love for you to nourish you. Right. <laughs> and so when you go into a restaurant and I don't know, even f like that fast food restaurant, it's, there's no love there. It's just fuel. <laughs> <laughs> so I, True, yeah. Yeah, I, I have a, yeah. a, a, a different different perspective on things now and I you know I'm, I'm very lucky because we have we grow our own veggies here I'll just show you out let's there. have a look I'll just show you out yeah there. you see there when yeah. the green is there and we have we have three chickens that give us our eggs and um, and they're, they're quite funny the eggs because some of them are you know that they're, they're not 
they're not perfect eggs they're sort of crinkly <laughs> crinkly bottom right, eggs yeah. but they taste so <laughs> they taste so amazing they're our rescue chickens and 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 we love them <laughs> <laughs> so I, yeah, I, I I think how you how you know growing your own vegetables you can't you can't, can't get more tasty than that. You know? Absolutely, absolutely. And Alex, she is saying go, Laura. <laughs> you read the messages. She's saying go, Laura. Yes, Laura is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> It's so wonderful to do this Instagram live with Laura, and we've been talking quite a bit. That's my buddy yeah. in Australia. He used to live here. So, <laughs> right. Hi, Alex. Hi, Alex. <laughs> Miss you. Right. It's amazing to connect with all our viewers right now, <laughs> and I hope that you are enjoying the session. And you're going to be making all these things at your home because it's about nourishing your mind and the body. It's not just nourishing your mind, and. Um, so basically you know the thing is that you need to understand how you start your day because a lot of time people start their day with what they have to do rather than you know understanding you know going inside and connecting with their inner self and aligning themselves with the higher self and i think it's very important that you start your day with a grateful heart you yeah. know have a couple of glasses of water yeah. and basically be thankful for everything you know we've got so much in life and it's just that we need to understand accept and acknowledge the blessings in our life because when you acknowledge all of that more blessings come in our life and then you know feed your body with all these things hi <laughs> sing hi alex <laughs> <laughs> right so um and laura you know i want to share something with you so i have written my book i am a conscious creator and dream believe act receive i think i did tell you about this book earlier yeah yeah <laughs> So it got a 4.5 star rating on Amazon dot in, and it's available on Amazon worldwide. And the person is meditating. You know, it's about self discovery. It's about unfolding of you within you. And once you read the book and you imbibe the practices, you break the shackles and you fly away. And there are no instant gratification, no shortcuts in life. You know, it's about daily practice in terms of nourishing your mind and the body together. Mm -hmm. because it's important to take care of both of them and remember the body is like a temple this is where you live in so if you don't take care of your body right then what is the point of doing anything else in life so what diet you have also makes a huge difference in your life and you have to take care of your diet and that's the reason laura i want to get you today and i want to show them all of this because they need to see these things and they need to kind of if they can make it in their house it'll be like fantastic because it's about nourishing the body also you know and uh, so that's what and so yeah so do your meditation and uh, laura let's do something very interesting that everyone can do uh, let's hug each other like let's hug ourselves for a minute and feel the love inside us because when you cook also you're putting in so much of love inside when you're cooking anything and basically cooking is like connecting with your soul you know when you're cooking you're connecting with your soul and uh, so you know you you basically giving love to your family in the form of healthy food and not just any other food so let's hug our, let's hug ourselves like let's just feel the moment and now is eternity now is everything feel the love inside you have love inside you and give love to everybody right now because right now it's the pandemic time it's still not over it's about giving love not only to your loved ones around you but your locality your city your country to the whole world and give love unconditionally without any expectations without any attachments because expectations lead to disheartenment so why to have any attachments is give love to everyone and when anyone comes to you they should leave happier they should feel more love as compared to the love they had before they met you so you are love and you know become the magnet to love love everyone and just be there for everyone because we have limited time and we don't understand this that we don't have you know, we have very limited time so love everybody mm. because we're not here forever and don't be the side actors in your life you are the author of your life you are the director of your life so don't be side actors you know and take the complete design process of your life in your hand don't let the society decide what you are and what you're not and right now this connect is about nourishing your body and the mind and along with this exercise 
you know because all these things matter sure. and the yes. body mind and soul yeah. has to be in harmony it just can't be that you're doing all these meditation affirmation not taking care of your health there's nothing because worse health is there's nothing worse than feeling sluggish and uh, right and when you're just and, and remember you know, your feeling yes your feelings lead to reality right because whatever you're thinking your thoughts will lead to feelings and the feeling will lead to reality and all that you have right now you've attracted that because you are a magnet so you know if you've got love peace happiness inside you will see it outside because your outer world is the reflection of your inner world but if you are miserable from inside if you're negative from inside you will only see misery and negativity outside it's all about the inside the only journey we have to take in this life is the inward journey and for that you have to come in acceptance with where you are a lot of time people are in a denial you know they they don't want to accept where they are like for example for laura also she accepted it where she was and then she went went ahead in her journey of ayurveda the other thing is if you don't meditate you project that negativity onto other people <laughs> exactly and you know you might know, you be so you know 10 years back laura my dad introduced me to meditation and at that time i wasn't ready for meditation so i said that please let it be you know i'm not going to do any meditation because see no one can impose meditation on you the calling has to come and my calling came in 4 years back i was introduced to gratitude by my mom 10 years back but again I didn't understand the power of gratitude. Four years back, when I started my journey of inner transformation, I realized the power of gratitude and meditation. And you know, we've got so much. God has given us so much, and we can be so thankful for everything in life. But the problem is, people are looking at what they don't have, and when they're looking at what they don't have, they get they don't get anything mm. because it becomes less and less and less. So why not nourish our body and the mind together? Decluttering is a really good thing to do as well. Yeah. Even with your personal space, going through your wardrobe, getting rid of stuff you don't want, give it to charity. Honestly, the, it, it made so much of a difference when I decluttered my bedroom and I got rid of so much stuff, and then suddenly it's oh, slept better, I <laughs> felt better. <laughs> Just you know what happens that. when you declutter your bedroom? When you declutter the bedroom, you're giving space to the new energy to come in, the new things to come in. That's so declutter to yeah, you get rid of clothes <laughs> and woo, they come straight back in again. People start giving you stuff. <laughs> That's a really weird one, but yeah, get rid of the old stuff and new stuff comes in pretty quick. Absolutely, and you know it's about decluttering everything in your life. and love your loved ones love, you know start the practice has to be from you if you want to see the change in your envir environment it has to be from you i realized that 4 years back that the change had to start from me i could not say that this person changes then i will change because that will never be the case the change has to start with you and when you start this journey of inner transformation you connect everything together so beautifully you realize everything that happened in your life because what you are today is not you what you are today is based on your self limiting beliefs the condition mindset and i really want none of you should take the music back to the last day mm. you know live your full life you are a limitless being the only things which limit you are your fears and the fears are false evidence appearing real because 98% of the time your fear is not even real <laughs> that's so we're we're yeah, really, because it's amazing how we can we can just mull over and manifest about something that's just not even important and we give it importance and we we stress about stuff that's just it's not even worth it the amount of time we waste not living in the present moment the the oh i'll be happy when i'll be happy when 
I get through this or that or no, it's like now. But you know what? That's such, like, such a big thing <laughs> Laura, to do. Be and it mind always mind. reminds me when I'm on my yoga mat to stay with the breath and not think. Like, there's, there's nowhere else to be. There's nothing else important. Just stay on the mat, breath to movement. It's a really good practice. That's why it's called a practice, isn't and it? Laura, the thing yeah, is, you practice every day. Yes, and Laura, the thing is that, yes, and the thing is that people need to understand that you need to think, feel, and act to what you want in life. You have to come in synchronity with the thing. You have to be in oneness with that thing. People say if we lose weight, we'll feel better. But that can never be the case. You have to think, feel, and act. And you have to do this as a regular practice. So fear is what? It's like, Laura, it's like the anticipation of the pain in the future. It may or may not happen. Laura, are you there? I think the connectivity is a bit of a problem. Hi, Butterfly. Namaste, Conscious Creators. So wonderful to see you here, Butterfly. Laura, are you there? Right, I think something went wrong with her net. I'm going to get her back again. So, right, I think she's going to come back again. Right. So, yeah, you know, it's about nourishing your body and mind. And that is really, really important because, you know, just by nourishing your mind, it's not going to make a difference. And you can be anything you want to. You can get all the abundance somebody else has. It is just a vibration away. It is not time away. So for instance, if you go on a radio station and you know you want to listen to English songs, but then you're trying to tune into that frequency and you're not getting into that frequency, you can't hear English songs. You have to come in that frequency, in that vibration, to get what you want. So yeah, Ayurvedica, uh, yeah, Ayurvedic Adventures is right back. So just give me a second. Yeah, I'm getting her back. Yeah, it's so good to have you back. <laughs> I was missing you. And I think our viewers are missing you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah, I hope I haven't chopped too much of my. I hope I haven't chopped too much of my head off. <laughs> yeah, I think where do you go? <laughs> Connectivity. I think now that everyone's yes. at home as well, they're all using their own home internet. So it's not as powerful as it used to be. But hey, <laughs> butterflies and welcome back. Yes, welcome back, Laura. <laughs> hey, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> Thank you so much. So Laura, tell me what, uh, what inspired you in a way to, what was that one moment in your life where you wanted to get into, you, you know, Ayurveda as such, like that one turning point which comes in everybody's life. It came in my life four years back. So what was that triggering point in your life? Uh, I was so fed up feeling sluggish and being on a health skelter. I felt that I was just really happy one minute and then really down the next. And I was fed up with that. And when I was on the Ayurveda retreat and I had a sustained calmness and happiness, that for me was just, hang on a minute, all these little tweaks brought me so much happiness and joy and they're so easy, so practical, and there's nothing kind of weirdly religious. It's just about having an internal dialogue. And I'm, as you know, I'm so interested in, in food and how it affects me. And I, this is like, this is crazy. Now I have to, why I have to share this, this wisdom, this knowledge. And yeah, so, I mean, I mentioned earlier about really infusing your food with love and even how you stand in the kitchen, when you stand in the kitchen, and I used to kind of stand in this, not straight, not just, 
just always, you know, thinking about like different things. Now I f focus on the job at hand, and I'm sorry, it was a, it's a little bit, it was a little bit crazy when I was doing the cooking demonstration. It was amazing. It was really nice, and I think our viewers got a lot from you today in terms of your recipes and all. So tell me one thing. Uh, you're into Ayurveda as such. So what do you have for lunch? What do you recommend people for lunch or for dinner? We won't ask you to cook right now, but just to get an idea. <laughs> okay, so, well, in fact, right now, because I'm not moving around as much, I mean, yes, I do um, yoga in the morning and go for an hour walk. Um, I, I'm lucky I live by the riverside, so I can do beautiful riverside walks. But still, um, I'm tending to do brunch now because I just don't need. I mean, I, I know myself, and I know that I can be quite greedy <laughs> so i have to balance that and if i just have lovely lovely teas um and then i have so in in an ayurvedic way mixing a grain which is um the, um augmenting uh, i.e it's easy to digest with um an extractive um, bean a legume is a really good right. combination. It gives you a perfect protein. So mm -hmm. I, I'm three days a week. I actually have various forms of kidgeri, and kidgeri can take so many different forms. Oh, so kidgeri is amazing. So yeah, different types of vegetables that, if you present the idea to somebody, they may think, you know, beans and beans and grains how exciting is that yeah, so, so, you know. <laughs> so nourishing that's the point you feel yeah. really nourished and um, or at the moment i've because i've been totally obsessed with the porridges they're so filling they just keep you going all day absolutely and when i started it was just oats like, okay well i've got oats well what else have i got and then as i delved into it then i realized well i've got buckwheat and i've got rice and i've got pef and i've got amaranth and i've got quinoa and then suddenly this whole new world has been opening up to me i just bought this new um well it's new to me it's called horse gram well i don't know we don't have, we don't have this i mean it's one thing that's uh, Amazon's opened up. You could just order stuff online. It's fantastic. So, uh, yes. yeah, now I'm looking into all these different grains because, you know, they're filling and nutritious and they're wonderful. And I I certainly know, for example, if I was going to start eating, for example, a spaghetti carbonara, which is spaghetti, eggs, and bacon, and Parmesan cheese on the top, it would sit in my stomach like a little balloon. So I would never have that for dinner. Mm -hmm. I just wouldn't. Have right. That for dinner. Okay. I'd have that as, you know, I, I would have it as a lunch, and I go and walk it off and help my digestion that way. Right. Yes. So if somebody wants your recipes, how do they get that, Laura? How do they get your recipes? Because if they want to make it in their house, they need more recipes from you. Oh. Well, so what is the way? I'm I'm posting a lot on my Instagram page, Ayurvedic Adventuress. And I'm, I'm building my website right now. And then there's going to be, I'll be putting a lot of recipes on there. Are you going to plan to come on the YouTube with your recipes? Um, yes, I, I, I'm just working on branding right now. Yeah. But it will, right. it will be coming soon. So, so if people want Right, so we can... We can be in touch with you on your Instagram right now and then we can see the website and we can then look at the YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Slowly, slowly. I do, yeah. Have, some, I do have some videos on my Instagram page. Wow. So I'm going to have a look at that after this live session because I'm going to start making your recipes from maybe today onwards or tomorrow onwards, but yes. And, you know, if not now, when? When are we going to nurture our, you know, nourish our body and mind? Because now... We have to start getting committed you know, to everything. The will to change will show the way. Mm -hmm. It has to be the commitment, the consistency and the will. So let's take a commitment that, yes, we're not just going to nourish our body, but also our mind and vice versa. You know, it's about the complete thing. Yeah. And um, that's really important, you know. So, yeah. <laughs> so, in fact, you know, Nora, when I wrote this book of mine, uh, normally, you know, when you look at books, they just got words with pages. 
but my book has got action plan it's got a lot of questions it's got a lot of quotations i you know kind of basically understood during my inner transformation journey it's got a lot of links it's not just a book book but it's a book which is a interactive book and people can start answering the questions there only so for instance when you look at the book you'll see the questions with the on like you can start answering it here so it's got the line there you start answering it there because normally a book would have notes at the back of the book and you have to keep on you know looking back and you know like a hair whatever but it's better to kind of answer it there only it's much better and um, so i want to in fact share a quote with you laura there is a quote by c joybel c and with of course all our viewers uh, may i share the quote <laughs> sure so quote you can be the most beautiful person in the world and everybody sees light and rainbows when they look at you but if you yourself don't know it all of that doesn't even matter every second that you spend on doubting your worth every moment that you use to criticize yourself is a second of your life wasted is a moment of your life thrown away it's not like you have forever so don't waste any of your seconds don't throw even one of your moments away unquote cheers to that <laughs> yes cheers to that <laughs> and have lots of water and keep yourself hydrated everybody because hydration is very important and water and laura has shown us amazing recipes and yeah so let's i think let's uh, do a nice meditation for everyone and uh, that will be like i think icing on the cake <laughs> so let's do that laura let's i think uh, i made you do one like the last time we spoken to each other but let's do another one today <laughs> okay right so okay so we're going to be um closing our eyes put our spine straight take the palm on your lap your palms on your lap inhale all the goodness the positivity the abundance the abundance coming in your life exhale all the negativity the negative toxins the self limiting beliefs the self sabotaging beliefs inhale all the goodness the positivity the abundance the abundance coming in your life exhale all the negativity the negative toxins the self limiting beliefs the self sabotaging beliefs inhale all the goodness the abundance the abundance coming in your life love joy happiness exhale all the negativity the negative toxins the self limiting beliefs the self sabotaging beliefs now i want you to imagine in your mind's eye a beautiful beach where the waves are coming and hitting your feet and you're walking on this beautiful sand and it's a clear day it's got clear sky and beautiful trees all around on the sides beautiful and the waves are coming and hitting your feet and you're walking on this sand you're walking and you're walking and you're walking feel every emotion how are you feeling right now on this beach the water the waves the sand everything come in the moment feel every emotion the happiness the joy the bliss to be there and now you turn around and you see your family celebrating they having a very good time everybody is laughing and they're talking and they're chit chatting and they all have smiles and they're so happy and you turn around and you start walking towards them the celebration is happening for you because you've become your best version as you've taken care of your body and mind you've nourished your body and mind and you've lived like a conscious creator not just a creator and you walking towards your family all your loved ones are there they're laughing they're happy and now you join the celebration your parents come and hug you your father is there your mother is there your siblings are there if you're married your husband is there or your wife is there your kids are there all your loved ones are there everybody and they're hugging you and they're saying congratulations well done you've lived your life 
like a conscious creator you've lived every moment you haven't really you know taken the past over by you you haven't really thought about the future too much because future is illusion you've learned all the lessons from your past and the celebrating you in every way and you're so happy to be with them you're smiling and now you look up and you thank god and universe for giving you an abundant life for making you live like a conscious creator not just a creator who functions from a conditioned mindset self limiting beliefs or self sabotaging beliefs you've lived a complete life and you're now with your parents and everyone and you're so happy come in oneness with this person because you've lived every moment and you've celebrated your success and each person in your life their success your neighbors everybody's success and now when you're in oneness with everything rub your palms feel the joy the happiness the love the bliss a grateful heart that yes you are a conscious creator and you've lived an abundant life and you've got all that you wanted everybody is so happy and you feel so blessed and now put your palms in your eyes awaken your senses feel the joy the love the happiness a grateful heart the bliss all the abundance in your life and all the abundance come in your life now put your palms in the ears and feel the joy the love the happiness the bliss now put the palms at the back of your neck feel the joy the love the happiness the bliss that yes you are your best version you are a conscious creator not just a creator and now bring your palms together in namaste bow down thank your higher self thank god for giving you such an abundant life for giving you such unconditional parents unconditional family if you're married your unconditional husband your boyfriend if you're not married everybody your kid everyone just thank everybody and that yes you are enough and you are a miracle and when you're ready you can open your eyes thank you amrita thank you and you all are conscious creators let's live a conscious life let's have the design process in our hand let life not happen to us but through us let's have an abundant mindset so that we can have an abundant life let's fill ourselves with love so that we become a magnet to love and we give love wherever we go we attract love in our life and have a grateful heart beautiful thank you so much laura thank you thank you all the viewers for joining us and laura thank you it's been so beautiful and very experiential with you all your recipes and uh, all the viewers please go and follow laura make her recipes and live a healthy life and have a healthy mind your subconscious has to be your best friend not your enemy and the subconscious does not know what is real or what is imagined you can become all that you want to as long as you become best friends with your subconscious mind thank you so much butterfly thank you thank thank you laura thank you so much i wasn't like this 10 years back but my calling came never too late yeah <laughs> yes and just practice this every day you know we all know about this but then how many people do really practice all this and i want everyone to follow laura ayurveda adventures and um, make all her recipes and live a healthy life
Wonderful. We're all in it together. Yeah, it's about co-creation, right? It's about mm -hmm. collective consciousness. And the pandemic, you know, also happened because we went against nature, Laura. If we hadn't gone against nature, nature wouldn't have gone against us. We went against nature. Mm -hmm. We polluted everything. And look at when the pandemic happened. All the birds came out. Everything became lush green. Everything became beautiful. Now. Because we need to respect Mother Nature. We have to respect Mother Nature. There is no other way. And then we always said that, you know, we don't have time to do this. We don't have time to do that. And the universe said, okay, take all the time. Now I'll see what you do. Because the universe is watching us 24 by 7. It has a camera. What you're doing, when you're doing. And the thing is that the universe gave us time to see that whether we are victims, creators, or conscious creators, we are not just creators, we are conscious creators. Because creator is someone who's creating all the time. So we have been creating all our life, but then based on what? Based on our fears, our doubts. Hmm. How about living a life based on love? Because we are love. Let's live from the love point of view than the fear point of view. Because there is no resistance in love. There is resistance in doubt and fear. And let's not judge anyone. If we can't be somebody's perfect version, then we have no right to judge that person. We have no right. So always before judging anybody in your life, please ask, are you their best version? Are you the version they want? Give people allowances. Because when you give people allowances and you get to know them, you say they're the best people you could have ever met in your life. Stop comparing yourself with people. Stop being envious of people. Stop judging people. Stop being jealous of people. Because this will all keep you on low vibration. To be on high vibration, you have to have a grateful heart. You have to have love. You have to acknowledge all the blessings in your life. That is high vibration. And you get what vibration you're at. You don't get what you want or what you need. Your vibrational match is given to you. And the law of attraction is working 24 by 7, whether you know it or not, whether you believe it or not. Laura, I sometimes really wonder if people don't question law of gravity, then why do people question law of attraction? Why? Do you ever say, oh my God, like I'm standing right now. Is it, am I going to start flying? Am I going to start floating? Is the law of gravity working? It is a law. I find it amazing just when I'm, I, I'm out on, you know, daily exercise, daily work, and I'll compliment uh, like a complete stranger on their coat or their hat or something. I'll say it's a beautiful color or I love the design. And it's just incredible how just giving something positive, you see the positivity and the, the fact that they feel acknowledged and they smile so much, just complete strangers every time. And then they feel happy and then you feel happy. It's just, it's lovely. Yeah, because you know what? Everybody can give smile. And just smile, like, you know, we can all smile and give smile to everybody, right? Wherever we go out, just smile at your neighbors and everyone because we don't know what they're going through in their life right now. We don't know their journey. And then we start wondering, oh, why is this person in such a mood? Why is the person not smiling? You don't have to look at what the other person is doing. You have to see what you are doing. Smile at everybody and please smile without any expectations or attachments. And remember, when you smile, the smile does come back. It may not be from the same person, but it will come back to you. Yeah. Because the universe is seeing it all the time. Something good and, and the universe knows it. Something good and contagious <laughs> worth sharing. <laughs> and give kindness, you know, love everybody. But remember, don't be hard on yourself. Love everyone, but the love has to start with you. You have to be full of love from inside before you give love to anybody. You have to pour your cup with love. Have your cup full and then it starts overpouring. 
give it to other people but if you're not full of love from inside then you can't give love because what you don't have you cannot give it is not possible so for example or if i would ask you for say 10 oranges or 10 apples if you don't have them you can't give it to me no or anybody else we when we have it then we give it so please remember that the self love has to start with you and self love is not selfish you know it's not being self centered it's not being self obsessed no but it's so important when you're nourished emotionally physically then you're in a better position give to other absolutely people. absolutely you know that's the point and centered stop right because self love is the best love you know laura about 10 years back i used to feel that people who are into self love they're very selfish they're very self centered but you know four years back when i started this inward journey i realized that i was so wrong i was so wrong how could i ever think that self love is selfish because if i don't have a me time and if i'm not filling myself with love i can't give love to anybody it's not possible and you know the law of attraction is working all the time but the problem is people are questioning it how can you question law of attraction it's a law it is not just attraction it's the law of attraction and the last word is action you know but the thing is that people are just visualizing and laura they visualizing with not being specific so if i would tell you laura you know show me a drink to make but you know uh, put anything you could be putting anything but if i would tell you okay laura show me a drink with lemon you know then you'll show me that particular drink for example if you go to a tea shop or a coffee shop and you say give me any coffee you could get cafe mocha you could get cappuccino you can get cafe latte you could get anything so please let's understand that the law of attraction is working we need to be specific mm. like for example laura the house i live in has been manifested and when i was looking for a house everybody around me thought that i could not find this house it's a manifestation and i have manifested everything in these past 4 years you know laura 2 years back if somebody had asked me amrita are you going to become an author i would say no like i had different plans in life right but i realized in my journey of inner transformation that what i have learned as a next door person and what changes i've seen in my life by implementing it anybody can be what you felt laura what you've gone through your journey it's a journey which is relatable which anybody can do but they have to be having a will to do it the way you had a will the way you committed to doing this yeah well i for me it wasn't even just uh, ayurveda before ayurveda i was living in peru and and going down the ayahuasca route with shamans i mean i was desperate desperate to find my happiness and it came through meditation eventually ultimately um absolutely and now it's you know it's now it's sustained because now i understand the nutrition point of view you know everything how yes. it's so connected and uh just in fact when you were talking about um a, a drink with lemon in it i immediately thought of lemon ginger grated ginger and honey but one thing's really important you never cook with honey you never boil with honey because when you boil with honey it totally changes its its property and it it i don't want to say it becomes toxic but it kind of sticks more in your body and then it's not so good it's just not so good so you're right it's yeah. always cool your drinks a little bit before you add honey inside because i mean we all love honey but just yeah just don't cook with it use jack a, a, another another variant right thank you so much laura for imparting so much wisdom and telling us so much and you know it's really a pleasure to be in touch with you and to connect with you on this because uh, you know i was doing a lot of instagram live session but i want to do this one with nourish your body because as i said earlier also it's not just nourishing your mind but nourish your body with laura so <laughs> <laughs> so i was 
<laughs> you know, I need to get Laura on my Instagram live because um, it's about the complete nourishment. When you were talking about walking down the beach, I had all senses so completely alert. I could smell the sand and the 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 um the oil on my skin, and I could feel the heat of the sun. I could feel the sun, and I could hear the waves, and I could taste that sort of salty air. Beautiful. Wow. <laughs> because the more you feel it, right, the more it becomes a reality. And you know, each one of us are a miracle. We are meant to be in this time and place. and you know when we look back at our life even the challenges we had were our best blessings the universe was just sending it to us because the universe knew that we could handle every challenge because the universe knew that yes this person can handle and every challenge has led us to this moment there's so we should be thankful for all our challenges you know i know but there's there's nothing more frustrating when you're actually in it to think okay I know that there's going to be a lesson coming out of this. <laughs> It's a very really difficult one, but ultimately that's always the case. Exactly. That's right. Yes, yes. That opportunity. Yes. And um, yeah, interesting. You know, Laura, even the colors you wear make a lot of difference in our life. I know that's what I'm wearing. Yes, <laughs> that's what I'm wearing. I was like I'm getting today. <laughs> I love your color. It's a beautiful color. And uh, yeah, so even the one I'm wearing, I love this color. It's a very nice color. So it's about the colors you wear. Don't uh, people don't wear too much of faded colors because it just brings down your mood. Yeah, right? So wear something like an orange. It it depends. I mean, if you're so super high and out of balance with your pitta, then the worst thing you would want to be wearing is bright It's a very dull oranges. color. Oranges that would yeah. But but for that, uh, if you're feeling quite spacey, then to have uh, more pastel colours is actually a good idea. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> all about balance, yeah. But today, absolutely, it's all about balance. Day outside, you know, it's it's um it's overcast. It's much warmer, but it's it's overcast. So I just want to brighten my day with some nutritious food and bright colours and clothes. Yeah. Yes. So we're going to be following your page. I'm following it. I'm sure all the viewers will follow your page and they can make all the recipes and What? this has to be a consistent practice. It just can't be that you just go and take one Laura's recipe, make it today and then forget about it forever. It has to be a daily practice. It has to be consistent. Because remember, the difference between a successful person and a failure is consistency. Consistency is what makes all the difference. Yeah. So when we follow Laura's recipe, it has to be on a daily basis, on a consistent basis. I'm working right now on a pistachio rose jam porridge. I can't quite work out whether I want to do it with rice or with oats. So watch the space. <laughs> yes. I tried cooking. It. I tried cooking with my rose jam the other day, and it. Turns a sort of caramel color, so I think uh, I'll be better just cooking the porridge and then sort of stirring it. In. So uh, right. I will, I will send you that. I will post that recipe when I, I have it. Yeah. <laughs> I want to follow that. I like love it, and I think all the viewers are going to love your recipes. They're going to really enjoy it. So you know, yeah. So, <laughs> but it's been so nice to connect with you, and I think it's it was really important because. it's about nourishing your mind and the body <laughs> yeah. all connected that's absolutely right yeah yes so yeah so well thank you so great. much for having me on and thank you so much laura mean so much and i'm sure it's a, yeah. i'm sure it's a conversation that we can continue so sure. laura before you leave i want to make you do something very interesting so <laughs> <laughs> just that everybody else can also do it so let's try this with our uh, with our thumbs right with the, these things just do this on your hair a little bit like a little bit just close your eyes and just feel the touch of it the finger tips it just relaxes your entire mind and your body and just brings in a lot of rejuvenation and then you could take the palm laura like this the palm 
like this and just circle it on your hair like just like this nicely everybody else can also do it on the sides just circle it with the palm circle on the side on the back of your head on the top of your head is it a beautiful thing and you know something very interesting what you could do is you could take these four fingers right and you could take it on the jaw like this like this laura and everybody else can also do it of course um, just circle it just give it a circular movement you know and close your eyes and just feel it and you could also do one more thing laura which is like you could take the index finger and just take it on the temples and just close your eyes and just do this on the temples well it's very relaxing it's beautiful i love it mm -hmm. and there's something very interesting Laura you could take uh, everybody else also you could take the thing like your index finger Laura here and on the side of the nose just take it like this like this and bring it here on the temples and when you close your eyes just come in oneness with everything with the moment and just do this you could do it like 5 10 times so you could do it two three times right now It's so lovely here in the background the tittits in the background it's that very specific <laughs> We just can have so <laughs> And you know when you like touch your hand like for example just touch your face like this like for a second and close your eyes you just feel so warm so much of warmth and like you know love and just feel really beautiful you know it is so nice Yeah, it's very calming. This all self love, right? And like, for example, you know, we always congratulating people in life. If you, for example, you know, pat yourself and say, "Well done," so you could say, "Laura, to yourself, well done, amazing cooking on Instagram." <laughs> well, I just I feel that I should just add right now that in Ayurveda, especially when it's sort of dry, cold weather. and we get sort of flaky skin um abayanga which is self massage warm oil is a really beautiful calming thing as well um Absolutely. when i was looking at um getting a bottle warmer i mean talk about massage oil heater rip off all you need to do is get a second hand baby bottle heater you can get it for like not nothing <laughs> it does exactly the same thing <laughs> and then heat up the oil i use on toasted sesame oil because that's really for my this is the best one for my skin and it's you just gently if you can if you can afford 15 minutes to do that and then you shower yourself without using soap and yeah. and that's a very calm and gentle thing to do as well so do you kind of do that every day like or once in a week or how is it like um during the winter days if you if you really dry then yes otherwise you can just do a cheap a cheap a quick variant just right right yeah. and you know the other thing is what i do every day for the past 4 years is since i started my journey of inner transformation so when i've had a bath with um, shower gel i don't like soap too much <laughs> sorry yeah. so when i have a bath with the shower gel i apply salt So I apply salt all over my body, like salt everywhere, uh -huh. all over my body. And then when I'm draining off the salt, I feel that all the negativity or any negative thing or any negative toxins is all getting drained out. So this you must do it every day. And that's it is like that's kind of like a scrub as well because I know that if you you can just take if normal salt. 
With, well, if you make salt and maybe sugar and some oil, that you can use as an actual scrub. Perfect, yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great idea. Yeah. So what I do is I just use the salt. I use the normal salt, just apply it everywhere, and then I just wash it off, and I feel like, I feel like I've just been born again. You know, it's like all of that just going out because see, even I'm a human being, right? And I could also have a little upset mood or something. So, but I don't let that come in the other person. So when I'm going through it for something, I'll just wash off everything. Mm -hmm. And every morning I do it. It's just gone. Mm. You know, you could put, add, and I'm reborn. You could add some essential oils in there as well. That would be lovely. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And you know, it's all about resetting our mind and resetting our body. It's about the reset. And I think the reset should happen now because we are still in the pandemic. So mm. if not now, when? When are we going to reset? Let's do it. Mm. You know, let's reset. That's a nice, that's very a nice thing. quote. If not now, when? Yeah. By, uh, I always say, I always say to myself, if not now, when will I do this? When will I do that? Because... It's about living in the moment, you know. And uh, so when I started my journey of inner transformation, uh, this quote was uh, given by Eckhart Tolle. If not now, when? Mm -hmm. So that's a quote. But then I applied in my life, like, if not now, when would I do this? If not now, when will I get Laura on my Instagram? <laughs> uh. <laughs> so so yeah, and uh, it's so amazing because yeah, it's it's been a very different experience, you know. It's been so nice you cooking and showing us everything because I think it's important to have all this on a daily basis. You know what you showed us, and that is the best thing to do. Thanks. You you've got a you've got a kitten, or you've got a what do you have at the back? It's just moving here and there. Um, it's 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 there are two Siamese cats and. Yeah, as a mother and daughter, and there's a and and an, another cat who's a Norwegian forest cat, <laughs> and they're wow, and they're all very different personalities. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, those those two are a little bit scary cat. My one, my one is um tortoiseshell. She's just like a big floppy, flop, floppy furry thing. And she's adorable, and she's the best stress buster ever. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, we also need to see the kind of movies you're watching because even the movies you watch, you know, it makes a difference in your mindset. Because if you're watching all action, all negative movies, all which is not going to help you, there's no point watching it. Yeah. Right. So why not watch something like on love, on being grateful, on something about the mindset or something. Everything makes a difference because you are consuming all that. Yeah. So you need to question yourself: What are you consuming? And if you mind-wise and body-wise, right? And then if you go to bed um, and it's too late, and you you're metabolizing all of those thoughts and all of that energy. Oh, yeah. Then it's like hallelujah. <laughs> a, bit, a bit of an overload. So yes, I really yeah. I like to. I like to read when I can. Perfect. And you know, you could say a few words to yourself, Laura, like what I do, just before going to sleep, like when I'm going to close my eyes, I say, like I'm just closing my eyes, abundance, abundance, abundance. Now, abundance is a very broad term. So it means abundance in personal life and professional life and in every aspect. When we say words like success, 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 and you're just saying this just before going to sleep. So the words you're taking back with you are abundance, success, health, love. So we know when we're saying all this, the subconscious mind is absorbing everything. And the thing is, like, for example, you know, like I do all my affirmations in front of the mirror. Mm -hmm. So I Powerful. have been owning up to my affirmation for the past four years. So I say it with a lot of, like, a lot of emotion because you are intensity of emotion will decide your ceiling level you, your emotions are basically what energy in motion mm. right so when you even setting your goals you are channeling your emotions into action you're working towards what you want to get in life 
and you know people sometimes they need to understand that you need to have consistent goals it is not just like we made it one fine day and we forgotten about our goals you know then it's not going to help you because your energy level depends on the clarity of your mind and your goals because if you don't have a direction to go in from a to b you will never be on high energy yeah to be on high energy you need to know from a to b where are we going and most importantly where are we right now in our time and place and the word ego right laura is like the e has to go so it's like e go only go <laughs> very good <laughs> so, so you know that's what and forget ego you know it's just going to stop the growth just be unconditional in every way every way oh sorry Sure. Now I would love to see you, Sho. Sure. <laughs> wow! Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> so cute. I know. Oh, so I cute. am so in love with my Puna Puna. Ah, hello, hello. Adorable. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Say hello. Look at that. Oh, so Look at that. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> Her or him? Is it like a her or him? <laughs> oh, she just she 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 was given to me as a present. I went so to go and buy. I went to go and buy her, and she was and 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 the and the uh, the the girl who had her before her brother was completely allergic, and she just and I just said, hey, "This your your kitten is is six. That's quite old. Do you want to negotiate a bit on the price? Because it was." A really expensive pedigree cat, and she said, "I don't want your money. Here, just look after my baby." And she just gave me. <laughs> so you got blessed with her, right? You got yeah. see. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah, she's... that's amazing. <laughs> that's snores, really. Nice. She snores really loudly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> right. And you know there's a very nice thing Alora which is about a Hawaiian mantra called Hopono Pono and uh -huh. you know it cleanses the entire system. Because see these blockages could be coming from our this life or the past life. We don't know that, right? All the energy blockages. So it's just very simple, right? We just take our let's take our hand like our left palm on our heart chakra and the right and the left hmm. the right palm and the left palm and we just close our eyes and we say i'm sorry my inner self uh lori could say it with me <laughs> i'm sorry it's a feeling i'm i'm sorry my inner self i'm sorry what's the next step my i'm sorry my inner self oh, my inner self i'm sorry my inner self that i that i took time that i took time to connect with you to connect with you but i know this is the best thing i could have ever done but i know this is the best thing i could have ever done for myself for myself please forgive me please forgive me for always looking outside for always looking outside and for always looking at the results and for always looking at the results with the based at the base with the base on my condition mindset on my condition mindset you can hear me <laughs> on my condition mindset long time back on my conditions mindset a long time back thank you thank you for forgiving me for forgive for forgiving me and i've connected back with you and i've connected back with you because i know the journey because i know the journey that i had to take in this life that i had to take in this life was the inward journey was the inward journey i love you my inner self i love you my inner self and thank you for everything and thank you for everything
crash. <laughs> the wheel, the, yeah. the wheel of misfortune went round. I know hot air funnel, funnel. I know it. I have a bracelet. Oh wow! Where is it? Show me, please. And I would love to see it. It's upstairs, but it's it's silver, and I had it engraved with mm -hmm. "I love you." Please forgive me. I'm sorry. Thank you. Yes. So I love these words that you just told me right now because it's about the inward journey, right? It's all about going inside. It was never about looking outside. It was never about the results. Yeah. It was never about the results. It was about the inside. Everything is inside. All the questions, the answers we're searching for is all inside. Yeah, we all have because, we have everything we need. We just need to tap in. That's it. Exactly. Yes. Everything we've got, everything, and it's our perspective in life, right? It's our perception because when the paradigm shifts, right? When the mind shifts, what happens is that, for example, a picture, right? So when you look at a picture in a particular way, when your mindset shifts, you see it another way. The picture is the same, but your perspective, your perception about the picture yeah. changes. So it's about going from a mediocre mindset to an abundant mindset to create an abundant life. Amen. Amen. So be it. Amen. So be it. Right. So be it. So be it. So it is. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you so much, Amrita, for sharing everything. I hope Thank you, can, you so much, Lauren. I hope you can repost this again so other people can see it. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Watch Namaste Conscious Theater. Yes. See you. Take care. Bye. Thank you so much once again. Bye. Bye. It was so beautiful to connect with Laura. And she's a beautiful soul, a conscious creator. And you all can become a conscious creator. It's basically about reprogramming your subconscious mind in the theta state. So we just heard a beautiful journey Laura took in terms of becoming an Ayurvedic person and all the recipes she shared with us, all that she made for us. And follow Laura's page, Ayurveda Adventures, follow her. Make these recipes every day because it's just not about nourishing your mind but also nourishing your body because your body is the temple you got to live in. So have a healthy body and a healthy mind. And thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. And um, I'm going to be looking forward now to see you in my next Instagram live session, which is happening tomorrow. So I'll be putting in the creatives. Thank you so much. And thank you, Laura, for making it so experiential. Amrita Mitru, signing off.